How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is gonna just kind of have a voiceover in this spot in another spot. Here I just want to explain what is going on. I'm like the tire is way too hard. I put way too much air in it with my shop compressor and I was just not getting traction at all on hills and it was I bouncing like around. <laughs> so I'm like let's let some air out while I run the tubeless system from NewTek. Well, what did I do? I being tired and not thinking and in a group and trying to hurry, I let the air out of the high pressure bladder. I can officially now say I've ran the uh, tubeless system with no high pressure, which then let out all the air out of my tire, not too far down until I was completely fat, flat on a trail called Niagara. And I completed that trail with absolutely the tire off the beat on one side and I'm like something's not right and I didn't notice until I got back to the truck that I did that I felt like I had done something wrong wasn't sure and sure enough we watching the video I'm like I let the air out now don't confuse the red cap on the other valve stem which has the nut on it that's the rim lock I have the red cap on there that's actually a tire jack which is a type of slime uh, stands if you will that goes in for if you get cactus pokes or nails or whatever it will seal the tire it also seals the tubeless up for uh from leaking air so anyways we'll get back to the video and then i'll be voicing over a little later <laughs> Too much air out. Thank you. 
just wasn't my day at all, guys. You know, you have those off days. This was one of my off days with the whole tire incident. Now I'm running too flat. I know something's odd, but okay, maybe I just let too much air out. Whatever, I'm not going to ruin my day. I'm going to ride. Then I go down on this obstacle, which my first time going down there. And I'm just like, I am just not feeling it. I eventually turn off the bike here, and I go ahead and kind of do a workaround of the obstacle, which was probably, in a way, what just happened? as challenging. Because you can't tell the happened? step up to get the tire up, me up and over and stuff. I don't know. It, oh, it really is not that easy of an obstacle doing it that way, but I, that's how I went. Yeah, I and then idea. where we have our next issues up here, Crash Hard Enduro is asking for a Band-Aid, so I'm going to go up I'm and around and explain it to you in a minute. <laughs> Man, I felt really good about my run, and then I like You had a good run going, man. That was smooth. That was real smooth. Yeah, you and Ethan. Ethan went right up it, too. So as I come up, I slow the video down here because this is the branch Crash Hard Enduro hit right there. See it? Oh my god, that went under his uh, guards and took out his hand. It was pretty bad, pretty nasty. I don't know who made that original cut. That is crazy. When you're cutting trees, Was think about branch? these things. Are things poking out that you're going to come around the corner and maybe yeah, you're going to hit? He shows us that. Is, I point to is that it. He shows that's where he hit. Saw? He's going to go look for a Band-Aid. And then Brian, Fun Adventures, we're, we're going to uh, cut that no, off yeah, using yeah, Jason saw from his front oh, fender. <laughs> and once we get the saw, we go over in oh, yeah. uh, Fun Adventures here. Cuts off the offending <laughs> danger aspect of this tree i've noticed it in the past but didn't think much of it and now somebody injured themselves yeah that needed yeah, to go so make sure when you're doing trail stuff, stuff like you know or go back through cut these things mm -hmm. that you notice i should have cut that in the past i didn't i feel bad but yeah, he's okay nicer, he's doing down. just <laughs> fine it's not there <laughs> 